Welcome to the East Baton Rouge Parish Library Grab and Go. Today we'll be making <clears throat> um, for our one book, one community, the Yellow House Celebration. Um, we'll be making a yellow shotgun house art canvas miniature and we'll be doing this all March long. So what we'll need is an art canvas, a miniature art canvas, which we'll provide for you. And these are great for your bookcase or art wall. Um, I'll be providing you with red, yellow, blue, black, and white colors. Um, I'll give you um, two paint brushes and a golf pencil, although I will have these already drawn for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you're going to need at home a paper towel, um, a paper plate to put your paint on and mix it with, and a cup full of water to rinse your, um, your, your brushes with. So let's get started. You'll also be given this instruction guide with uh, detailed instructions on what you will need to do. So when you're painting with acrylic paint, what you do is you start with the background and then you move from the background to the foreground. So we will start with the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of blue and some white to get me a nice sky blue color. And I'm just going to start painting. If you find that your paintbrush is too big, you can take some scissors to it and make it to a smaller size. Um, that works too. I've done that before and uh, it does work. Since this is such a small canvas, sometimes a smaller paintbrush will work better. And what looks really nice as you go along is painting the edges of your, your painting as you go. And that gives it a nice complete look. Included in your um, packet here is a mixing guide. So I gave you the basic colors, but um, those basic colors can be mixed together to form any color that you want. So I'm making a yellow house in celebration of our one book community read, The Yellow House by um, Sarah Broom. Um, but you can make the house any color that you want. 
This is a New Orleans book based on Hurricane Katrina, um, a shotgun house. So as we know, New Orleans uh, is known for their colorful, jazzy houses. So feel free to um, mix together any color combo that floats your boat. And I just finished reading that book. It is a very good book. Um, I highly recommend it. All right, now that I've got the sky painted, I'm going to move on to the sidewalk right here. <clears throat> to get that um, gray-brown color right here, I'm going to mix a little bit of red and um, a lot of yellow. Red goes a long way, so only a little bit is all that's needed. I mean, a little bit of red, a lot of yellow, and a little bit of blue. Blue goes a long way too, and that gives me a brown color. I'm gonna add some black to make it more of like a, a darker kind of color. Um, I'm gonna add some white to make it more of a grayish brown. All right, um, add more blue. A little more red. A lot more white. And I'm happy with that color. So I'm gonna move on. And um, in between painting, you can uh, take a blow dryer to dry the paints so that you can, the painting process can be much faster. All right, so let's get started with our sidewalk. Don't forget to paint those edges the same color. So what we have here is kind of a taupe color. By mixing a little red, a little blue, a little black, and a lot of white. Me. Make some more. I didn't make quite enough. Good afternoon. This is a reminder that masks or face coverings must be worn during your entire visit with us today. A little bit of yellow in there too makes it a nice soap color. Oops, I'm getting the wrong color. Add more yellow. Let me paint my edges. Voila. Now I'm going to add some black lines. Kind of blend it in. And 
some blue ones. Some yellow. I'm doing this while the paint's still wet. A little bit of red. Really give our sidewalk some definition, some color. All right, and there's our sidewalk. <clears throat> now we're going to paint this greenery on the side of the house that you'll see here. We're gonna paint that next. So, to get green, we're gonna mix blue and yellow. Gives us a nice green color. And off we go. See, I'm gonna kinda dab it in. Don't forget to paint your edges green. We've got some green plants up here. Kinda get those in there. And add some yellow for definition. And a little bit of black, a very little bit. Black goes a long way. And we've got our greenery on the left side. Now let's move on to the right side. Just dot, 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 dot. Greenery doesn't have to be straight lines, it is dots. Paint my edge. All right, so on the left side, I have a tree. So I'm going to use this taupe color that I had already mixed. And I'm gonna make that my branch. So I'm gonna do a line here. And then a line to the side and a line up. And now I'm going to take my green and dot, dot, dot some leaves. <clears throat> Need to mix more green. Add some yellow for definition and some black. Very little black because it goes a long way. <clears throat> All right, and we have our <clears throat> our greenery. Let me mute that black right here. So, next step is we are going to do the yellow of the house. So we will just do pure yellow. So we'll start up here.
put a little yellow right here in these because there will be some yellow showing through there. <coughs> And a little yellow right here. All right, now that we have our yellow, I'm going to add a little shading with my taupe color to this side of the yellow house. Get a little bit of black, not very much, so kind of uh, wipe some of the excess off on your, your paper plates. And let's do some shading. So we have some shading here. And that's about it, yeah. That's all the shading we need. Okay. Now from there, we're going to do the Oh, we also need yellow in our window. In the door, in this window up here, will be yellow. So there's yellow light coming through these windows. You can make it blue light, you can make it yellow light, up to you. Mine's gonna be yellow. All right. Um, Next up, we can add our blue shutters. Mine are gonna be blue, this is New Orleans. You could do purple, you could do any color of the rainbow. Totally up to you. I'm just doing pure blue, darker than the sky. Royal blue. Right, now that we've got that done, we will go in with some white, some pure white, and add some shading. Here, let me fix that. Oops, too watery. Use my paper towel to fix that. shading back in. And my shutters are done. Now we'll move on to the porch. So the first part of the porch will work from the background to the foreground. So we'll work with the part closest to the house first. And that is a, um, a gray color. So we'll do a grayish blue. So we'll do a little bit of black. We'll do white and we'll do blue. Lots of white. And we have our color. And off we go painting this part of the porch.
All right, that is done. Um, right below the house, there's kind of a blue line here, so I'm going to add a blue line. There's some shading. And now we'll move on to the bottom part of the porch. We'll add the steps last. So the bottom part of the porch is more of a light blue. So I'll mix some more blue into this gray color. And it's still a gray blue, but it's a little bit more blue added in. More blue than gray this time. top part of the porch is a pure blue line. So I will go ahead and add that in. All right, now on to our steps. Um, We'll start with the middle part of the steps first. So they are a light gray. We'll do a lot of yellow and a little bit of black and just a dab of blue. A little more blue than that. Right, and we'll go ahead and paint those in. Water shading and definition last. All right. Now we'll go in with pure blue and add our lines. Now we'll add our side stoop. So the inside of the stoop is a black color. side of the stoop is a much lighter gray so we'll take our gray here and we'll add a lot more white to it and we'll paint it in and then we'll add our shading So I'm going to go in with black and outline. This 
stoop. And add some white shading in here. And there we have our stoop. All right, now we're going to do our white door. part of our door is white also color that in white Now we're going to go in with some black shading. And now we're going to add um, our black trellis work to the side of the house. We have a wrought iron fence over here, so I'm going to add some black lines. some swirly designs. part of the roof right now and that is the taupe color again so we're going to do red and blue to get our brown color a little more blue and some white and then we'll go ahead and paint that in some shading to it with black. We've got a line here, line here, we've got some like that, we'll add some white shading. And we have a roof. Now we'll add this little medallion right here with white. There's a medallion in the middle of the yellow top part of the roof. So 
So I have that in white, and in the center, there's a black dot. Is it on? I'll kind of outline it in black. Our medallion is done. Now we're going to add some greenery to the front of the house. So that's blue and yellow. Blue, yellow. And we'll add this little bush right here. And then we'll add some yellow shading to it. little bit of red shading. A little more green. And some black. part is adding the trellis work and the porch poles so we'll start with the top pure white our shading with black. This is the tricky part. So we have this here. This here. Dot 
Now the last step is add your initials and you have completed your yellow house shotgun art canvas I hope you have enjoyed this programming sample and grab and go while supplies last all through March thank you